Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome to the gold 1911 guide in modern warfare We're gonna go through everything I did to fast and efficiently unlock all 100 camos for this pistol and to unlock that mastery gold camo In the description the top link is going to be the Damascus camo playlist So every other gun that I have gold there will be a video on how to get it gold fast and efficiently in that playlist as well And once we have Damascus the full Damascus camo guide will be down there And once I finish a category the category guide will be down there as well Let's hop into the setup I used for the 1911. As my primary, I have the shield. This is just because I play hardcore to do the pistols, so it's just an extra added protection on the back. But you might as well have it because you probably won't be using a primary while you get this gun gold in the first place. For the attachments on the 1911, I have the monolithic suppressor. No surprise there. I'm pretty sure on every other video on any other gun that has the monolithic suppressor, I have it attached. For my barrel, I have the 1911 stalker. Increased bullet velocity and damage range. Pretty nice, especially in hardcore where those actually matter, especially with a pistol that can be one to two shots depending on your range for my trigger i have the lightweight trigger this is just to increase my fire rate which i quite like my ammunition i just have 15 round mags just so i can have more ammo and of course fully loaded because i hate worrying about ammo counts Keep in mind, you can use whatever attachments I want. This is just for the people that want to know what I use. For my perks, I have double time just to increase that tactical sprint and increase the duration of how far. In perk two, I have ghost just to stay off the radar. Even though I normally play hardcore for the pistols, ghost really helps me because when that enemy UAV does go up, then it is actually a lot easier to sneak around and they don't notice you as well, which equals more kills and better positioning. For perk three, I have tracker. This really helps me playing hardcore headquarters just because if the enemies are running around by the headquarters but they're not on it i can just see where their footprints are going track them down and get an easy kill or two for my lethal i have the claymore and then for the tactical i have the smoke grenade you can use whatever equipment you want i just use these two because i just prefer them especially in objective game modes like hardcore headquarters and hardcore domination as we go through all 10 camo categories, you'll notice the game modes and the maps that I recommend to play on will not change. This is because throughout this entire pistol grind, I have only played Hardcore Headquarters. If Headquarters isn't an objective game mode that you like, Hardcore Domination works perfectly, and if you don't like objective game modes at all, Hardcore Team Deathmatch is probably the third best game mode to play. I like playing Hardcore Headquarters because spawns are easy to predict, and everyone is pushing the headquarters, so you will face lots of action, and if you are on top of your game, you will be dropping lots of kills each game which in turn helps you complete your camo challenges faster and if hardcore is not your thing you can easily just switch hardcore to core however i highly recommend hardcore because pistols are one to two bullet shots at every single range unless you're at like absolutely extreme range which then it will be three but that is pretty rare especially on the hardcore domination and headquarters maps that are in rotation as we go through them one by one on screen you will see each requirement needed to complete the camo category as well as in the description all 10 will be listed so at this point if you've watched all the setup and gotten all like the basic tips you can just read the description and then go grind the camos and if you guys want to stick around we're going to go through in depth through each category starting with spray paint which is 250 kills you will complete this challenge naturally as you progress through every other category so honestly don't pay too much attention to spray paint to complete woodland this is just 50 headshots this is where hardcore game modes are extremely going to help you because you just one tap someone on the head easy headshot kill make sure you're just aiming for the head especially if enemies are unsuspecting you or don't even notice you at all especially if they're camping in a corner or holding an angle that they don't know you're there watching them you can just aim on their head while they're not moving and get an easy kill it's even easier if the player is afk to complete digital, this is going to be 40 crouching kills, really easy to do if you're playing hardcore headquarters. While you are defending a headquarters, crouch in a corner or some area around the headquarters and then just stay put. As enemies push the headquarters and try to retake it, you can just get those easy crouch kills super fast. If you're playing domination, as you are defending a flag, the same thing applies or if you have the enemies in a spawn trap. If you're playing TDM or just any base game mode, just force yourself to crouch in some situations. So if you are holding down a good power position on the map, force yourself to crouch and you will complete the 40 crouching kills super fast. To complete dragon, you have to get 30 hip fire kills. To complete this category fast and efficiently, I highly recommend rushing around like a crazy maniac, just running into enemy spawns or just enemy objectives, guns blazing, hip fire and everyone, you will complete this super fast if you play like that. If that's not your speed and you're a little bit more of a camper because uh you're not a cool epic gamer like me honestly you can hold corners and angles without aiming down sights at close ranges because the pistols have actually a surprisingly really accurate hip fire at close range easy enough hip fire kills there's 30 of them you'll complete it one way or the other 
To complete Splinter, this is 30 long shots, really easy to do. A long shot for a pistol is like 30 feet, so if an enemy is 30 feet away, you'll get that long shot super, super easily. I find you'll complete this naturally as you go through every other category as well, so don't put too much time and effort into long shots. However, if it's one of the last challenges you are yet to complete, put a little bit more focus into it, and then just knock out the rest of the long shots that you need. Topo is 25 double kills, really easy to do, especially in headquarters game modes, because enemies usually travel in packs or as a whole team. Just pick off two guys, get that double kill, 25 of them, really easy to do. I think the most I've gotten in a single game was 12 double kills on hardcore headquarters on shoot house. So it's a really easy challenge to complete, especially on those smaller maps. To complete Tiger, this is just 110 kills with five attachments equipped. Really easy to do. It's a natural challenge that you complete as long as you have five attachments on. And by the time you unlock the Tiger challenges, you will easily have 20 attachments unlocked. So just select five of those 20 attachments that you want to use and just hammer out Tiger. To complete stripes, this is 25 kills shortly after reloading. Once you reload, you have 3 to 5 seconds to get a kill. Really easy to do in hardcore game modes because the second you reload, all you need to do is connect 1 to 2 bullets with an enemy and you get that kill. Do this 25 times and you're done stripes. To complete reptile, this is 75 kills with no attachments. The exact same thing as the kills with attachments, just take all your attachments off. 75 kills, easy enough to do, and you complete it. The last category is skulls, and this is just 25 times. You have to get 3 kills without dying, super easy. It stacks on top of each other, so if you get 6 kills, it counts as two nine kills three you can do the quick math and go all the way to 25 if you want to but i'm pretty sure that's statistically impossible especially in call of duty unless you're like boosting or like hacking or something but yeah really easy challenge to do and once you've completed all 10 categories you will have unlocked the gold camo for the 1911 pistol once again in the description the damascus camo playlist is there if you would like help with any other guns as well as when i complete damascus once again that full damascus guide will be there I want to thank everyone to coming out to this 1911 tutorial guide. As always, if there is one, I'll see it in the next one. Peace.